Hi there. My name is John Holden. I graduated from the University of Connecticut in 1992 with a bachelor's degree in ornamental horticulture. In 1993, I started Land Designs Unlimited. I design, install, and maintain landscapes for homeowners in Upper Fairfield County, Connecticut. Today, I'd like to share my passion with you. Hi folks, today I'd like to show you Hydrangea paniculata grandiflora, or the PG hydrangea. Now, while the grandiflora refers to these very large, beautiful, sterile white flowers on the shrub, I just want to stand here to show you how large your PG hydrangea gets. Now, I'm about six feet tall. If I raise my arm up in the air, that's about eight feet. So this shrub is easily 10 to 12 feet tall. Now, the PG hydrangea produces these beautiful, large, groups of sterile flowers starting around mid-July and they'll persist all the way till frost. The flowers are going to start out as a nice white color and then they'll slowly get a tinge of pink or purple to them until eventually when the cold weather gets here they're going to turn brown. Here's a nice close-up of these beautiful poofy flowers on our Hydrangea paniculata grandiflora or our PG hydrangea and all these flowers are sterile flowers and that's just a beautiful effect in the landscape. And then as the flower matures, this one's getting a little bit of pink here, but as the flower matures, you see how this one's got the pinkish tinge? It'll be a very pronounced pink to a purple color as that flower matures. Now your PG hydrangea likes to grow as either a large shrub or a small tree. If you want to have a tree form with no foliage down below, what you're gonna to need to do is just make sure you remove all the branches lower on the shrub and growing from the ground. It's not going to naturally grow like a small tree. The shrub behind me, if I had gone through and cleaned out some of the suckers down below, that would have no foliage up until five or six feet from the ground. PG hydrangeas like to grow in your average garden soil. They prefer to grow in full sun. They will tolerate partial shade, but what you'll notice is the shrub will be leaning off trying to get to the sunlight if you grow them in a partial shade situation. When I'm using PG hydrangeas in the landscape, what I like to do is put them off the corner of the house like you see here. I would recommend planting them a minimum of about five feet away from the house just to keep them from growing on the house like you see here. Another great use for your PG hydrangea is gonna be in the back of the shrub border. Or also, why not plant one just out in the middle of the lawn, either as a sole specimen or a grouping of like three together or separated with some lawn to add some interest to the landscape. Last winter I made a great video on how to prune your hydrangea paniculata and then I have some steps of the hydrangea paniculata growing back. I highly recommend you take a look at that video if you'd like to learn to prune them. I'll put a link for that right here. Grandiflora is a cultivar of hydrangea paniculata. Your grandiflora is going to have these very large poofy sterile flower stalks that kind of droop over. It's a fairly older variety of hydrangea in the landscape. Some common newer cultivars, there's one called Tardiva, which is going to have a very upright flower stalk to it. It doesn't have quite as many sterile flowers to it, so when you see the flowers, they're going to be upright and a more open habit to them. And then there's one called Limelight, which is very popular lately, which has lime green flowers and is quite an aggressive grower. And then there's one called Limelight, which is very popular lately, which has lime green flowers and is quite an aggressive grower. I, I don't know what to do, there's no traffic. It's kind of weird. 